Hey everybody, this is Rock and Roll Livia with Rock and Rag Magazine. Today I'm with Les Warner. How are you doing, Les? Doing great. Awesome. Many people will remember Les from the Electric album with the band The Cult. Is that correct? That's correct, yeah. Yeah, very good. Well, it's great to uh, run into you in town right around NAM time, right? Yeah, I'm getting ready for NAM. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is everybody ready? It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a big, big event, the biggest music convention in the world, I believe. Yeah, yeah. it's got to be. Yes. And, so, and you're one of the biggest performers in the world. So I want to know um, what you've been doing, because you're not playing with that band anymore. You are doing your own projects, I believe, right now. Well, I'm doing, uh, I'm, I'm living in Vegas, and I'm building a studio. Um, I have a, a business um, recording drum tracks for people mm -hmm. around the world, anywhere in the world. God, you know, thank the internet. You can actually just send stuff out anywhere and do it, you know what I mean? So it's really easy, it's great. So I don't even have to leave my house. Yep. Yeah, absolutely easier. Huh? Thanks to John, who's Mazira Drums, uh -huh. I have a beautiful new electric kit and I can uh, just record straight into Pro Tools and send the files to anyone, anywhere. Well, I saw that British kit. It's a the British flag, correct? And it is electric but it looks like a regular drum set it doesn't look like your typical electric set no i mean because if you want to use it live i mean you don't want to use pads you know you want something that looks good aesthetically you know what i mean so it, i'm going to use it live in some big stadiums that stuff i do the great thing is you can manipulate the sound so much mm -hmm. so with technology now you can actually get any drum sound you want using the, the brain and and it's so it's amazing you know, you don't have to tune the drums, you don't have to do all that stuff, you know. So it's, it makes it a lot easier. And John has got a great design and, uh, it's, you know, the British flag on it looks great. Mm -hmm. So it's, it makes life a lot easier. I'm going to talk to him later also, but I know that he has this uh, genius explanation for the way the pads are connected. How, his invention, I guess, or creation of the electronics on that set. Oh, yeah. John is awesome. So we'll, we'll, we'll catch up to him in a little yeah. while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go away, John. Go away, John. Yeah. Go away, John. No, don't go away. John Muzio, Mu Muzio, Muzio, Muzio drums. Okay? So um, that's awesome. You have that going. What else is happening with you? So, you know, I mean, the great thing about, you know, what I love about being a musician is that you never know what's going to happen from day to day. You know, and uh, variety is the spice of life, as they say. So, you know, I don't play with one band. I play with multiple projects. Yeah, which is great because, uh, I mean, I play with Bow Wow Wow, which is complete opposite to the cult. I play with Mandy Lion, which is heavy metal stuff. I, I play with different, you know, types of music. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I like. I like changing things up. That's it. Yeah. That's a variety is the spice of life. And it's fun to have so many genres under your belt that you enjoy playing. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I play in an Irish band. I have an Irish band. We go out, you know, and do fiddle players and, and just, it's really cool, you know. That's awesome. Yeah. That's very awesome. Yeah. yeah. So the studio, I'm really excited about the studio. The studio is going to be great. Right. Um, it's a big, we've got a beautiful house we just moved into and I'm building a drum room and building, you know, I'm going to have, start producing bands. That's very right. cool. Because so, uh, Vegas is full of musicians now. I mean, a lot of people have moved there from everywhere. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of uh, opportunity to find young bands. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Vegas is like the new Hollywood in a way, for, yeah, if you're so. comparing it to Hollywood from the 80s or whatever. Right? Yeah. They either go to Nashville or Vegas right now. Mm -hmm. So that's the way it, it is. And, uh, yeah, it's exciting. It's an exciting time to be in Vegas. It is. I'll, it's just a jump, uh, hop, skip, and a jump over for me to come down. So I will come check out your studio when it opens, when it begins. That's another thing. I, I do a lot of fly-out shows. I'm always flying out. So f flying from Vegas and back is cheap, yeah. you know, because they just are. They want, they want people to be there. So it's, you get cheap flights. I can fly. Cheap hotel rooms, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt, yeah. As long as it's not New Year's, <laughs> you're good, right? Right, right. Well, it sounds like your new year is, is starting off really great. It really is. I've got a new website, leswarner.com, les with a Z, warner.com. Uh, we're developing that for people to easily uh, contact me and uh, send the files they want, and I can record the drums and send it to them easily. We're, you know, user-friendly. 
uh, it came out really great. I'm really happy with it. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's exciting, no doubt. Oh, I'm so thrilled. And it's nice to reconnect with you. And I think I'm going to see you at NAM, And uh, you can stop by and play a couple NAM jams. I think uh, there's a Friday night one at uh, a place called Grasslands over by the House of Blues in Anaheim. I think um, you might be being seen there and playing with, with us. Lee. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be awesome. She's great. Yeah, so that's going to be fun. Ronnie Lee's our girl. We love her. Yep. So anyway, you're not going to wear your high heels, are you, this year at uh, NAM, right? I mean, uh, not during the daytime. Last time. Oh, I do know. <laughs> it's always too fun. Yeah. Yep. Thinking, you know, it's like oh, it drives you crazy. So yeah. One year I had to have Thin Lizzy carry me out to my car. I couldn't walk, and I was like by myself. And then they were walking by, and they're like, "What's wrong?" And I'm like, "I can't even walk out to my car to leave." And they picked me up and carried me to my car. Just, just an old tale. Not fun, uh, enough. Yeah. But I'm gonna be on the booth, the Mazira drum booth, mm -hmm. um, showing the drums off and uh, answering questions. And I'm gonna be there uh, probably uh, Thursday and Friday. So if anyone wants to come down and, and uh, ask me questions about it, I'll be there for that. Are you going to sign some autographs? If they want, if anyone wants it. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah. It's gonna be I'll be there. And do you know the booth number for that booth? John Muzio, please. What's your booth number? Oh. We're looking it up right now, okay? One second. We got this John and his secretary is looking it up. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay. Yeah, we do. We need a, we need Siri to answer us. Sixty-four thirty-four at Nam Hall, Hall what? Where the drum section is? Hall C sixty-four thirty-four. That's where Muzio drums. Check these drums out, okay, and make sure of it. Les Warner will be there to answer questions, talk to you, uh, sign autographs, and all kinds of fun stuff. You could go and jam on some of these kits, I would imagine, and um, they're really new and innovative. And also, um, I'm, sh I'm, I'm releasing my new band, uh, Electric 87. We're, we're our first show next week in Seattle, El Colzone in Seattle. So we're, we're doing, releasing that. We've got some festivals coming up this year. I'm basically playing all the music from the Electric album. Oh, good. We've got a really good band together. We're doing that. So that's exciting. That's going to be a lot of fun. That's really oh, exciting. Singer, he's awesome. Oh yeah. Um, and also, I'm playing bass now. No way. Oh, that's well. shocking right now. Really? I love it. I love it. I've been playing for like five years. And uh, that's how I met John. Uh, a company out of uh, Vancouver, Prestige Guitars, uh, Todd Kearns from Slash's band introduced me to him. And they said, do you want to design a bass? I'm like, well, sure, why not? So uh, I started working on designing a bass guitar. And um, then they introduced me to John. And uh, we're all helping each other. So I'm going to be on that booth as well, Prestige Guitars, at some point. But uh, they're really nice. They made me this beautiful bass. It's like wonderful. It's amazing. And you designed it, actually. Yeah, exactly. That's unreal. Someone just came and asked you to design yeah, a bass, I'm and you're a drummer. I'm like, don't you know I'm a drummer? Yeah. I'm like, well, you're a musician, so it's fine. Well, okay. You're funny. You are funny. And well, I'm very curious to see that. So I'm, I will well, be. I'm actually playing in a Tom Petty tribute band with that. Ooh, okay. The guy is so amazing. This guy is incredible. I mean, uh, he, re he really has uh, transformed himself um, on stage as Tom. I mean, he looks like him. He does, does he sound like him? He sounds like him. Uh, the band is amazing. We've got like the bass player from. Um, Marilyn Manson on drums. No so, way. And you're the drummer the drum. from the Calder. What, no uh, uh, what have you on bass? And the guitar. And these these guys are great musicians. They're from, you know, Rock of Ages. You know, Rock of Ages. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're from that show, and uh, we've been selling out everywhere, um, and it's awesome. That is fantastic. What's the name of the Petty Band? It's uh, Petty and the Heart Shakers. I saw that somewhere. I to make it obvious, you know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I love that. I mean, it's great to play bass in something like that where the songs are so great yeah. it is, a, is a pleasure and it's spiritual, you know. It's very spiritual with Tom's up in heaven now, too. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, we really, um, our singer really puts a great show on and he's very uh, appreciative of Tom and just, you know, it's great. It's a great show.
You know? Oh, I can imagine. Well, that's very shocking news. So I'm excited about yeah. this. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. Again, it's variety. You know, it's good to do variety, and uh, I, I love uh, doing different things. So I'm going to be playing bass and drums and producing it this year. Man, you're a busy boy, huh? That's what I want to do. Yeah. So, well, gonna... yeah, you got it. Well, unless you have more to say, I just want to thank you for taking the time out of this extremely busy schedule of yours, Mr. Popularity here, yeah, <laughs> and talking with me and us and, you know, enjoying this day with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Les. Oh, it's such a pleasure. It's an honor to be here with you, too. No, yeah, he's been waiting for his onion soup for two hours. Okay, okay, everybody. It's Rock and Roll Olivia with Les Warner. That's it. Okay, we're rocking. Oh, my soup, my soup.